Okay, so now we have this insert link here, and we want to put the link we really want there. Uh, luckily, I've got it over here in Notepad. It's a reference to the new page we created uh, with some JavaScript and the label. We're going to change it from insert to create a new time log entry, a little more friendly than just insert. So let's copy that, and we will just paste it over the link that was there, the insert link. And now when we synchronize the pages, you see it says create a new time log entry. So let's save this page. And if we go back to our issues and we view it, we see, look, here's our link, create a new time log entry. If we click that, it takes us to our page. Great, awesome. Um, we still don't have the parent's ID passed in the query string, and we still have to set this manually. So not what we want, but we're getting closer, okay? So now let's set it up so we can pass in that ID. If you remember from this data view web part, we created a parameter earlier called param issue ID, which is the query string ID. So we are already storing the ID of our parent in this parameter. So let's use this parameter and let's pass it to um, our child page. So we do create a new, let's go to our create new tab log entry, find your uh, link for it, which is right here. Make sure there's a question mark after the URL. Let's scroll over so you can see that better. And we want to do uh, issue ID, because that's going to be the, the name of our query string variable we're passing, is going to be equal to, use your squarely brackets, dollar sign, and you see it actually brings up a list of all of the parameters we can choose from, and here's param issue ID, that one we created. So click that, close it with your little squiggly brace, and let's save the page. Now when we come back to the SharePoint is too awesome issue, if you scroll over, create a new time log entry, you see down here in the status, which you can't see because it's cut off, so let's just click on it. If you Now you look at the, your, the uh, query string, you see issue ID equals three is right here. So we have successfully passed the issue ID of our parent to this child page. Now we just have to set the value of issue ID to that uh, parent ID, okay?